my great pleasure on introducing Martin Lindstrom. Out of my six other books, this one, without any doubt, is the book I'm most proud of. Big data is all about correlation. It is to gather billions of data points and try to find some sort of pattern in it. Small data is really the counterbalance. It is what I define as seemingly insignificant observations you make in our daily lives. And that actually leads to what I call the causation, the reason why, which in many ways is really the hypothesis you should use to mine the big data. So I was actually really pleased to hear that a lot of the things that Martin is advocating Eventbrite are already doing. So we go out into the field with our organizers to really watch how they use our product. We attend events all the time. We look at how consumers interact with it from a consumer standpoint. So we actually have a lot of small data points that are being fed back into our product development, into our marketing. And then of course, we always take a look at the big data, the macro view, the things that um, web traffic and Google Analytics will tell us as well. We try and combine those two to create smart product decisions, smart marketing decisions, and you know, hopefully our growth is testament that we're doing the right things. I think the theory of small data is actually um, very powerful uh, and incredibly useful. Um, being consumer focused means really paying attention to people, their habits big and small, and there's no better way to do that than to observe them and to the extent that you can walk in their shoes, and I think that's what small data is all about. I think it makes a lot of sense. I think it's something that we do every day as marketers. Um, the, the tricksy challenge is how do we listen to small data and give ourselves permission to believe that it's valid um, and to listen to those small insights um, and report them back internally and act on them and not feel like uh, and beat ourselves up as marketers and feel like unless it's the, the particular the, the insight of the that, you, that you've heard, unless it's validated by £100,000 worth of research, that, it, that it's not worth um, listening to. The principles are absolutely clear that we have to get inside people's lives and understand what they're doing. I think brands, agencies have a duty uh, to, to go there to find out what makes people tick. I think a good case is probably Lego. You know, just recently Lego announced their biggest profit in history, 31% off. In the late 2003, um, a small team went into homes across Europe and they ended up in an 11 year old boy's uh, bedroom and they asked him one simple question, what are you most proud of? And this kid pauses and he looks up and he picks an old worn down pair of sneakers. And the Lego team was puzzled because they thought, why doesn't he pick up the Nintendo or Sony PlayStation? We didn't. And they said, why? He said, because this is my trophy. It shows I'm the best skater in town. You see, when you slip down a skateboard, you have a certain angle, and that creates exactly the wear and tear on the soul. And that was the moment where Lego woke up and realized, hey, time is not in essence for this generation if you allow them to become storytellers. And today it's one of the biggest, if not the biggest, toy company in the world.